Hi, this is Rachel from In the Library of Lady VLA, and it's in my mailbox time! Yeah. It's been a pretty good week. Yeah. I kind of ordered some books like last week or so off Amazon from, with like one of my birthday couch things, and they arrived. But first, I shall show you the library books that I borrowed. Because my sort of. I have technically cards for three libraries. I have like the Town Library, the University Library, and the National Library of Wales, which is this massive library thing, but you can't borrow books from there, they're all hidden inside and you have to go in and sort of say, yeah, can I want to look at these books and sit there with them. Which is a bit naff, but anyway, I bought, got World War Z, or World War Z, by Max Brooks. I've actually read about 45 pages of this, and it's really good and kind of, it's one of those books that even though you know it's fiction, you kind of worry that it's non-fiction. Mm. The possibilities are scary. I also borrowed Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. I read the first four of these books back in way back in January. Really borrowed from the same library, but at that time they didn't have this one. So when I found it, I was like, yes, I need to finish this. And I've read it already. <laughs> And the last book I got from the library was uh, shiny covers. The Ambas Ambassador's Mission by Trudy Canavan. I like kind of the Black Magician trilogy, which is handily shown in the back. I really like that trilogy, so this is set like about 20 years after it. And obviously, I'm not going to spoil things if you know the ending of that trilogy. You kind of know what this is, who this revolves around, but. just have my dinner so <laughs> but yeah I've read a little bit of that but I'm looking forward to reading it or like 500 pages of it yeah it is 500 mm -hmm. do excuse the laundry in the background we haven't got anywhere to put stuff and it costs too much to use the dryer right next lot birthday books yeah I haven't read Shift yet, but I'm I'm kind of half dreading and dying for this book because a it's the most gorgeous purple cover ever, and just because I want to know what happens. But I'm really don't want this series to end. It's a really really good series. It's one of my favourite adult paranormal series. So I've got to get onto Shift first, but we'll do. Doesn't need any explaining. Did you see my review on Life of Never Letting Go? I haven't read um, The Ask and the Answer yet, but I have it with me, I will read it, and then I'll read this. Look at the size of it! It's massive! It's literally 600 pages long. I can see my dinner in my mouth. It's really bad. Um, yeah. And I've also got The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. It's actually a really short book, but I've heard it's a really good sort of fantasy series. So, yeah, I have that. And finalement, I have uh, The Princess of Midnight Ball by Jessica Day George. Couldn't find the author there. I, I wanted to get this for ages actually, since probably saw sort of Steph Sue's review of it. And I was waiting for the paperback because the US paperbacks take about a year. It only takes six months over here, but yeah. So we have that. I want to get the princess, um, like the princess of glass at some point, whenever that gets into paperback. Quite looking forward to reading that. I want the dress off the cover though. <laughs> so gorgeous. So yeah. That's seven books, it's pretty good. I didn't pay for any of them. Yeah. That's the kind of stats that I need to tell my mother. <laughs> but anyway, so, that's what I have. What did you get in your mailbox? box? 